good soldiers follow orders. A huge shout out to our channel members for supporting what we do here. If you want to get involved with the channel and the Dice Commando community, please consider joining as a channel member. Remember, these videos are only possible with your support. You can show that support with a like, a subscribe, and by leaving us a comment and sharing your feedback. Community first, and go Commando! Hey there, Star Wars Destiny folks. Welcome back to Dice Commando and the Commando cast, and happy Destiny Friday. Today I want to talk about Air H7's Crosshair. This is a card that's very fascinating to me because I honestly didn't see the mill kill I was looking for. It was going to come in villain. I was too laser focused on my take on Jen Cassian and being hero in the past. And here's our mill kill brother, I guess, right? Now, Crosshair is very interesting to me because he, he really lets you live the dream, so to speak. Not only are you taking cards from their hand via his discard, but you get to choose the specific cards that you want to take. So he's basically, in theme, he's sniping those cards out of your hand, which is which is pretty neat, right? So Character Trooper, 11-14 with 12 health, 2-gun, two 2-gun, two discard, 2-discard for an indirect, resource blank. When you resolve this die, showing a discard for the first time each round. You may look at an opponent's hand and choose the cards to be discarded instead. All right, so you get one time that you get to snipe the cards out of their hand. Hopefully you're doing that with a two discard, but hey, one discard and taking the card they think they want is very interesting. So the question isn't whether or not he's good. I think he's very good. The question is that he's is is whether he's useful or not in that he has to have a pair because that's kind of how destiny works right so what i wanted to do today was really drill, drill down on exploring some potential pairs and strategies with with crosshair now i'm going to propose not really propose but i'm going to explore i'm going to propose one maybe two the third one is just something that's interesting to me but i would really like to know as we go through this or heck to start let me know who your who you think would be good with Crosshair, what you're trying out with him, because I think he's really good. I'm just not entirely sure where to go with him right now. So I love your your feedback on that. And let's, you know, get that conversation started. So the first one I have up is Visago. So this is a card I really liked from Display of Power. So Visago's ability is after you activate him, you can reroll a die not showing a cost. Okay, so that mostly plays into Visago, but you know, we have we have a cost on on Crosshair. Probably not going to re-roll trying to get the two discard for one, but maybe. And then Visago has the power action, force an opponent to pay the cost showing on one of this character's character dice. Then you resolve that die without paying the cost. Very, very, very cool. I, I really like this character, but he never really saw a ton. There were some decks going out there, but you know, didn't really do a whole bunch but i think with crosshair that's a very interesting pairing looking at these two side by side now i do want to point out the power action it only works on Bazago's dice so you can't take two cards from their hand and deal them an indirect and choose which cards you get to do right it it doesn't work that way you don't get to live the dream but you have right you have that whole thing going on now again i do want to point out as well kind of skip not really skipping ahead but kind of to an aside i do realize there's the whole black dawn thing out there where you know when you deal yourself indirect you get things i don't i don't think though that's the right strategy for crosshair right because he just has the one indirect and i think you're more than happy to take the one indirect yourself to get two specific cards out of their hand so i i don't i don't think that's the play here but i do think Vizago's very interesting for that because if you essentially if you're trying to use crosshair let's be honest his his discard sides here and his feed into his ability and those two two gun sides are are not what makes crosshair good right it's it's the ability on him so trying to do use him as delay tactics and that's kind of where Vizago fits into it as well right Vizago we've talked about Pretty much you want to roll him in right away and kind of make them do stuff, right? You force them to make bad decisions. He's got that two disrupt on there, which is really, really scary. So, you know, kind of putting them into a responsive defensive type game. Maybe you're playing supports. There's some new supports out there that you can drop and they stay in play type of deal. Well, that, that's how supports work, but there's some good good supports out there that can do things and then help you build as well. So I think maybe that's kind of where I'm going to be looking at with with these two. I think that's the play with these two is really 
the long game. Sure, they both have damage sides, but you're not, you know what I mean? You're not really going to, I don't think that's going to win you much overall going that straight. But sure, I mean, if you're rolling twos and threes, I guess the whole time it doesn't suck either way. All right, the next one up is my boy Cad Bane. So this would certainly be more of a more of a kill on the mill type of side, right? But Cad Bane, again, has got that two discard side. He's very good. Um, the issue with this one would be potentially, there's a couple, actually, there's more than a couple. There, there are several bounty hunters out there that would be a very interesting pair up with Crosshair, like Fennec Shan, stuff like that. Uh, even Asajj, right? Asajj we'll talk about next. But the I think you start clogging up your deck with the bounties or the downgrades type of thing. Now, that's kind of why I like Cad is Cad doesn't really care all that. He's not like playing into the downgrades type thing like the bounty hunters traditionally do. He's just kind of good. And then he has access to a bunch of the bounty hunter cards. So he's just a flat out good character, right? He got balanced down to 16. Actually, was he? I believe he was balanced down. Yeah. Either way, he's at 16 now. That's a pretty strong pair with Crosshair, I think. And, you know, the next, I kind of already, you know, jumped the gun on that. But the new Asajj is very interesting to me as well. Not just, again, I'm not just picking people that have one discard sides. But being able to pull the four downgrades of any affiliation or color is is kind of interesting to me. Now, granted, you have red, so you can pull some of the, like, delay tactic type stuff. That's where I'm really going there is, like, putting the, you know, downgrades on your opponent that net you in the long run or hurt them in the long run, you resolve their dice, that that sort of thing. That's very interesting to me because, again, you're using crosshair to essentially delay their progress and then you know late game you can kind of switch to taking that big two drop removal out of their hand or something like that so that you can get where you need to go and then meanwhile Asajj is doing her thing you know if, if you really also look at that this pair you probably go for crosshair first like if you're the opponent you probably go for him first and then you've got Asajj who can potentially have things. I don't know. I'm not a good fan of the mixed damage, but hopefully you understand kind of where my head is at. I, I don't think he has a clear path right now, but I think he's really very interesting. And I think that going forward, there could be some really cool things going on with him. I, I really wish he'd work with Gar Saxon. That would be kind of fun to explore. Either, I mean, there's no real direct synergy there. It's just, you know, you get the red thing and the pings, and then you kind of get a dual threat on crosshair and they're definitely going to go for gar i would think first so i think that would be kind of fun but obviously the points don't work on that and uh, teenage mutant ninja turtles has been nerfed or points balance oblivion and and rightly so so you're not getting anything out of that but this is really interesting to me seeing where crosshair can go so anyway folks that'll do it for today i'm just really interested to hear what y'all think about crosshair and what do you think we could do with him and what his place in the game will be either now or into the future. So anyway, let me know in the comments below. Nothing else, folks. Go Commando.